it's a cheap, easy, fast fix for anyone who's done it two or three times. Some of the parts can be, like, you know, like stuck together because of age and sitting in the sun and kind of the plastic kind of melts together. But just, just work it all loose and you'll be fine. The issue is the bulb itself. Where's it at? Seventeen dollars. And then that's it. Seventeen bucks. I remember you could get these for a dollar ninety-nine. I'll show my age. Yeah, I'm old, man. I'm old. I remember when gasoline cost 32 cents a gallon. Anyway, you all have no problem with this. By the way, guys on YouTube, man, taking apart their entire, you know, front end <laughs> for this job. And it's, I don't know what the hell they're doing. You don't have to take the grill off. You don't have to take anything off. Let's go see. It's real simple. Um, look for these studs sticking out. There's one right here. There's one all the way over in the corner by the fender. And there's no nut welded to it at the bottom there. The actual stud itself is nutted. Cut. Yeah. Shape of a nut. So these might be a little bit rusty and hard to break loose. That's what we need to do. Kind of an asinine way to do things, if you ask me. This one's hard to get on because the fender is in the way. So you'll need an extension to get to it. This one seems pretty loose. So they're both the same thing, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. And hopefully you have a little 5mm socket. Take them all the way up. Yeah, if you need to get a screwdriver and kind of pry it out there, just be careful. And I believe we're looking at this one. That one is your high beam. Once you got it this far, just lift up behind that tab right there and pull that part out, the wiring harness. Doing this one handed for you. That pushes in until that clip snaps. So to get it off, you're pulling it up and popping it out like that. Alright. Now this piece, turn it counterclockwise. This is the actual bulb itself, by the way. Yep. and pulled out of there these can be jammed a little bit because there's a lot of dirt and stuff that gets stuck in them just wiggle them out and that's what they're going to give you at the parts store this whole assembly so you don't have to worry about taking this bulb off this foundation it comes this one piece these are what are they says it right on it. My eyes aren't good enough to read the wattage and all that crap there, but uh, just give this to the guy at the counter and I'll replace it for you. So you see these tabs? Around. They only fit in one way. 
find out where they go in. Push them down hard and turn clockwise. Can't do it with one hand. Find where the tabs go. Line them up. Push them down. Turn counterclockwise. This little bee, bee's nest, beehive thing, that goes to the bottom. This little beehive goes toward the radiator, the center of the car. And this is the outside of the car, this, this side here. Set it back in there, push it in, well, first connect the wires. The blue one, the one with the blue harness here, that's your high beam. The one with the orange, that's your running light. So this goes toward the radiator, this goes toward the outside of the grid. So don't forget to connect the wires. And at this point, it's a good idea to check everything before you go ahead and re-tighten everything up. Might want to lube these up with some WD-40. Won't be a bad idea. These get tightened all the way down. They're not your adjusters. Your headlights already been adjusted, so you don't have to worry about that. Amigo, easiest pie.